this is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and as promised, I'm going to show you how I do these uh, watercolor uh, doodles with, with uh, I, I said doodle, I think, because <laughs> the word was right in front of me. No, but anyway, we're just going to use like a uh, watercolor like this. I bought those during the back to school sale. Uh, they turn out super cool and you can use them in your junk journals. And I have a couple of tricks that I think you'll appreciate. Here is was an example of a coloring page and I did these birds and then I fussy cut them out. I will show you how they look in the, in the journal. I had these kind of marked here. So here's one of them that I just, I did the fussy cutting and then I glued it down. Uh, let's see, here's another one. And I added a little lace to the wing, so that was fun. And then here is another one. So I, I added a, a, quite a few different colors to that, and I'll just show you my tricks on how I do that. But for the most part, it's super easy. Also, oh, I didn't even show you. If you didn't happen to see this journal last week, uh, I also, for my signature pages, I used these. So I watercolored, these were coloring pages, and then there, there, I have tons of these in here with the signatures. So, and uh, that those turned out really neat. So I'm excited to show you. Now let's just see what we've got here. Not this one. This is those are that's empty. It's those were the stained glass ones. Those are fun. I have never used one of those in a journal yet. Okay, so I for the signature pages, I like to use double sided ones. You know, ones that have images on two sides. This one's kind of a neat idea. I haven't tried any of these, so we'll try we'll try a couple of these. Let's see which design I like. I like the mandala situations. These are really um, simple ones, which is pretty good actually if I wanted to be able to write over the top of it. So here's one that I would like to do. These are one-sided ones, paisleys. So this might be good for fussy cutting. If we can find any that might be good to fussy cut out, we will see. You could also use them as backgrounds for tags or something like that. So I don't see much fussy cutting, but I like this one to do as maybe like almost like a master board tag. So that one we'll try. Well, this one looks maybe good for fussy cutting. We'll see. It looks like I used the butterfly. Oh, here's some birds. Okay, perfect. And then I see more butterflies on the next page. Yes. Okay, definitely doing those. Other ones too, but we will... Oh, look at those. See, I liked doing that, and it's fun, but it doesn't... I don't know. I just... It doesn't... It's not quite... It's not quite there. Okay. So we'll just... Oh, this one's really good too. Look at that. Oh, bookmarks. Let's do bookmarks. I can tear it out. That's how you do that. This one's really good for uh, some fussy cutting. Oh, look at the teapot. Ah, oh, teapot journal. This one too could fussy cut out that teapot. Okay, I have to do this one. Now that's just a lot. Honestly, though, once we get started, you're going to see these go really, really fast. Let's just get going. Let's get going and have some fun. After a while, I do want to show you, I, I, I kind of got a little bit better at it and a little more detail than I did this, which I thought turned out really cool. So I did different colors and I actually kind of colored it in. So yeah, that one turned out really neat, but it did take me a long time. So this method is fast. Okay, so this, actually this Crayola one, it was like $2.50. Uh, one little tip, spritz it. So make sure they're good and wet and just do a spritz across the whole thing. So we love that. Then it does come with this actually nice watercolor brush. I was surprised, you know, because... I mean, I don't know how good quality, but the shape of it is really good for this project. Uh, if you want to do the fine detail stuff, like I did on that last one, 
you probably need a, a smaller brush. But for this, it'll work good. Now you can kind of pick your colors. I'm not going to start out with this one. We're going to do the broad. I think it's better to start out with the just broad pattern kind because we're not painting in any of the lines. We're just putting some colors together. I found that you just mix any color together, like brown, brown and blue maybe. And then I always try to do, I have to figure this out again. I do, I do water color and then just kind of, I'll remember in a minute and then I'll tell you. See, because if I go straight like that, I have to do Yeah, so you go, you go, this is how you got to do it. You do water, color, paper. That's how you do it. Water, and then your color, and then your paper. Okay, so I've got plenty of that color. Not uh, too much of that color. Water, and then maybe some of this green mixed in. And I find that if you just mix it with the last color you did, it just seems to blend a little bit better. And if you want it to look a little bit more grungy, just always add brown to everything, you know? And then you just kind of roll it in together in sections and kind of overlap a little and fill in so there's no white. Okay, water. So there's no white left. Maybe a little brown along the edges. And it's super meditative. Maybe I could tell you my apple seed story. I, I mentioned it a while back and I never got to tell it. This might be a good opportunity <laughs> to do that. Yeah, so so my mother-in-law says to me, uh, we were I don't know how we got on the subject, but we were talking about, you know, she said something about, oh, I eat the whole apple, including the seeds. And I was like, you know, they're poisonous. And she's like, yeah, yeah, of course. I know they're poisonous, but you'd have to eat so many, many that it wouldn't matter. And I said, oh, are you sure? I was like, this doesn't sound like a good idea. And and it just came off the back end of her being really sick, like really, really sick. Like we were very worried about her. Of course, she wouldn't go to the doctor. All right. So that's one done. Look at how pretty that is. And then I just set it aside to dry. This one is one-sided. So I think we decided this one would, would be good for, you know, like uh, the background of a tag or something or a journal card. And then, did we ever do any two-sided ones? I don't think I grabbed any. Oh, this one was two-sided. Okay, so we'll do this one. The thinner the paper, then the better it works for the two-sided situation. I lean towards the blues and the greens. That's just sort of my my thing that I like and also something I do is I kind of do try to do I don't always do it but I try to do it in thirds you know like a chunk here a chunk here and a chunk here uh, that's kind of and then try to get on the edges a little bit don't forget about those and then pick a different color so maybe uh, green and purple so green and purple together it, it almost gives you like a little, this color. <laughs> like, that's pretty brown, so we'll see, we'll see. You know, you it, it, it just gives a little hint of it. So you're almost like a lot of brown, uh, which is what, you know, I like in a grungy journal. These look great in grungy journals. So if you're looking for, you know, that, the other one wasn't that grungy, actually. That one last one, 
that wasn't a grungy journal it looked really good in there i didn't do i did a lot of more bright colors though and then at first and then i got better at doing like the browns and the so this one's gonna be we're, we'll try to get some browns in there olive that's what it came out if you do purple and green with a lot more green than purple it comes out kind of olive which was which is nice there we go it's kind of like a moss and then add a little bit more and then we got we've got some olive in there which is fun and i use this this part to sort of mix mix things the more water you get the lighter the color it's going to be so if you want that real light effect more the water is your friend water 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 because the first ones i did they were pretty dark you know they were and bright i would say bright more than dark but i mean just kind of playing playing around so there's that flip it over so that came through a little bit but not a whole lot so like this area let's let's, let's try a little more color right in in that area so we have give it a tad of that blue more water bloop made a little bloopy sound that was the yeah that was the area purple through there There we go. You can always, you know, do something else to that side, but this is how it would look. And honestly, that looks pretty cool if you have that for a signature. It's gonna look a little different when you dry it, but for now, that's what we're doing. All right, let's do another one. I'm, I haven't quite mastered pink, so maybe today I'll try it. I've not, I've not been able to get a handle on it I probably because I haven't added enough water what if I add a little yellow in there that's like orange oh red and yellow make orange oh my gosh <laughs> yeah that was pretty I sometimes you want like if you do mostly red with a little bit of yellow then you might end up with something different but I added too much yellow. Okay, we're toy over here. I was kind of trying to go for a salmon. I really like salmon. Maybe a little puppy. There it is. That's the color. That's nice. Okay, good. Still need so much water to make it that sort of pink. Now, I'm going to do like this sort of thing because these are pretty small. See, now I'm getting pink. And I just want, you know, just a little something. Now we'll add a little brown, maybe brown and purple because we already added purple, brown and purple, or we already added um yeah because we added purple that's what i wanted to say <laughs> oh grief oh grief all uh, right i'm a little scared let's see what happens i mean I, i'm gonna put a little a little uh blue in there because you know i have to do that but i don't want to cover up too much of the Of the pink because I'm happy with the pink and you want to make sure you kind of get all your borders in so you're not I don't have any white spots hanging out none of that okay these are gonna be all the same color but it's really fast that way then you know okay now we got our blue now we're gonna do whoop Now what? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm tempted to just go 
in between, just do like some spots. Too much, too much. <laughs> and I think it looks better if you get at least three colors in there, just to kind of Okay, so far so good, but I, I do feel like we need one more color in there. And what's it going to be? That's the tough part. I'm going to try this, see what happens. A little brown, a little yellow. I know, that seems crazy, right? I know. I'm using my finger. The brush wasn't cutting it. Yes. Okay. So now it gives, it just gives it a little dimension when you do that. Just a little. So we've got pops of pink and then just that three other colors. I want to, I want to cut these out so I can really look at them and see how I like them. They're just kind of pastel -y. Uh, I bet you didn't know that. I just realized that the word pastelli runs with Kelly. <laughs> oh. Yep. Okay. Oh no. Wet paper. Don't do that. Don't do, don't do it. Go this way. <laughs> yep. All right, no more cutter. This is how you mess stuff up. But I'm gonna fix that because we'll just cover it up with some ribbon at the top. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's how we do it. No more up here, a little off of there. And I've got some little, oh, maybe both. Pink and this right, I'm gonna staple it. Yes, I am, I got a little it just came right out of that thing. It's perfect. It was right sitting there in my scrap. It looks so cute. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's darn cute. And what I would also do with it, because, you know, that's how I roll, is I'm so proud of myself that I got this big heavy cup because I thought, I'm gonna, oh, I've been looking for this dauber. I thought, I need something with that's heavy with a big center of gravity so I don't spill it. Spilling something on your craft table, it's not good. I, I don't need that in my life. <laughs> I just don't need it. Oh, yes, that is adorable. <laughs> okay, these turned out nice. See, you were worried about that yellow and brown, but it, it worked out. Now we're coloring on top of our coloring pages. Okay. Now these are going to be a little trickier because they're so small. That's okay. We'll do it. And we might as well use what we've got. I'm going to try like an opposite thing on that one. And then maybe like, ooh, I got an idea. Some red on the edges. Blue in the middle. Yeah, it just gives it a lot of dimension when you use all the different colors. I put purple in the middle. Look what I did with that. And then when you cut these out, they're so, they really are cute. I wonder if I could try like a, nah, I'm, I'm not brave enough. We'll do brown. A little black, just a brown. I want a dark. Not that dark. Every time I use that brown, it comes out a little like tea dye. What do I add to it? I don't know why it's yellow. Yeah, like yellow, like tan. That makes sense. 
and then to get it lighter, just add water. We'll figure this out. Okay. I'm just gonna go along the edge there. There we go. Okay. Then blue. Yes, let's do blue. A little blue, a little more blue. And a pop of, pop of red. That just turned out a little blobby, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Well, it happens sometimes. Look at me. I'm just gonna... We'll just go over it. Yes, we will. All right, I want some blue. There we go. Okay, so now, I know you're not gonna trust me until you see it, but it will work. That one's gonna look cool, promise you. Now, and the colors are so subtle, that's what you, you kinda have to trust the subtlety of it, that when when you when you cut it out, all those colors seem to come come a little bit more alive. Yes, they do. I'm never crazy about the side butterflies anyway. I like the the, the ones that are right right out in the open. There are little hearts in the design. How cute is that? Okay, now what? Maybe green. Let's try green. And if you feel like your color is getting a little dry, spritz it again. Just give it a spritz. And then I'm gonna take some brown. Why does this kind of brown and go? along the edge. There we go. Now I see that there's, this is really light in the middle. I want that a little brighter. And I got, I think I, I made it a little more bright than I wanted, but actually it looks pretty good like that. Don't be afraid to use your fingers. See, I noticed in the beginning, I was like really swirly and just really fast, but now I'm kind of feeling, I'm kind of feeling the, 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 you know, more fine tuning of it. So that's interesting that that's happening. So we got all kinds of things happening with this. Now I'm just going to kind of blend, blend over the top. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just fussy cut these out uh, off camera and you'll be able to see them. I'm going to do a broad green and then maybe I'm going to add some orange. Let's do an orange. Just use this orange. Good thinking. Do inside here. Doesn't, it doesn't look orange at all, but two different colors, so that's good. And now, of course, I just, this is how I'm rolling today. I'm just adding a little blue. And I want it to be blendy. I don't want it to be too defined. So there's that. All right, I'm going to take a pause. I'm going to cut these out, and then you can look at them. Okay, so I've got these cut out, and... Here we go, we'll just open this up and you can just see how those look on a book page. I did kind of like the ones that were more random a little better, I think, I did. So like, like this one was a little more random 
and this one I thought was a little more random and I like those a little I think the overall aesthetic looks a little bit better so so with me trying to be a little bit more particular it didn't it didn't really help the situation at all and I have these wonderful little scraps and I remembered that I was telling a story so I'm gonna keep some of these scraps and <laughs> Oh, you guys are like, okay, what happened to the story? <laughs> okay, so I wanted to know how many. Let me pull out my other coloring book. Push through these. So my mother-in-law was like, well, how many would it take? And so I looked it up. How many, you know, apple seeds with the cyanide would it <laughs> would it take? So I'm like. So uh, I look it up and I'm like, it's like five to eight seeds per apple and it would take 100. There's a lot of good stuff in here. It would take 100 to 500 apple seeds to, you know, do you in. And, and so <laughs> she's like, oh, that's not as many as I thought. I was like, oh my gosh, how many do you? She's like, well, I've definitely had 10 apples in a week. I'm like, oh no. So, and then I like Googled it, you know, I'm like Googling like cyanide, you know, how many does it take? And so then I was like, oh no, I'm just, so if, if she did uh, die from that, which she knows now not to do it, but I'm like, they'd be, they'd be, I'd be their suspect and I'd have Googled, <laughs> you know, about <laughs> cyanide I'm looking up cyanide poisoning with apples so I'm just like oh no so then I I thought, <laughs> I thought to myself I'm just gonna google uh uh <laughs> I'm gonna grab this one I'm gonna google uh, <laughs> uh how to prevent your mother-in-law from eating apple seeds <laughs> so I put that in there too <laughs> like that was gonna make it better <laughs> oh my gosh so, but she was like, she was like, wow, no, I really didn't know it was that few. So she's not going to be doing it anymore. Thank goodness. I'm going to try this one with the, even though it's got the coloring on it already. Why not? Why not? So that was really, I was just like, yeah, please don't do that anymore. I'm like, oh gosh, and she, she probably got really sick and was kind of wondering what the heck, why? that was happening oh come on look at all the writing utensils okay i definitely have to do that one so those i i i didn't grab any of the coloring books that are like the two-sided i mean this would i guess if we glued some together but they're kind of small more fussy cutting ones i know now i want to do them all because it's just it's just fun all right, let's see what we have here. There was one page. The, I'm missing it. Yeah, it was the, quick gravy. How do you lose these things? I don't know. I probably, oh, I did. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. Okay. No, no, I was just confused. So anyway, that was the, <laughs> the apple story. I was just like, it was really... <laughs> We were kind of laughing the whole time because she's like, how many? <laughs> well, I didn't know it was that many. I've eaten that many. I'm like, oh my gosh. So she was probably under what, under what would do it. So that's good, but good grief. Okay, I'm going to try, I don't know. I'm going to try what color, you know, writing utensils. I feel like some browns and greens. Like that sort of thing. Okay. I'll add a little blue in there. Because blue's my jam. Get a little water. And then, what else? Like that olive. A little more water.
That's just kind of a fun sheet of paper. It's just kind of fun. Okay, I'm mixing this, and then I'm going to do the edges, almost like, uh, you know, inking. Sort of like that. Like distressing the edges, you know, but with the watercolor. It's a lot of water in there. A little darker, maybe. See, now that's cool looking. It's not really going through to the back, so that's okay. Though. It's just thicker, a little, little higher quality paper. Ooh, we've got butterflies and this one just has to be a hinge or something. A hinged paper. I've already got the brown going on with the edges, so let's just do that. More water. And it, you could just try uh, the browns mixed with different colors and do like a, let's try it. We'll try it at some point. Do like brown variations to, to make it just look like tea dyed or something like that. Now what? Now we can do crazy stuff because this thing's colorful, right? We'll seep in with the brown around the edges. The purple, I mean. The lavender. Kind of blend in. And what do we do? That's too much. Gotta get something else in there. That was bright. That was very bright. Kind of awkward. Oops, wrong, wrong spot. It's supposed to go over here. looking. You can kind of see the butterfly coming through. Let's do the side too. Oh, that's neat. Who knows what'll happen now? What do we add? Blue, I think. And some water. We'll just go over the spots that didn't quite come through. And then that it's cool looking because it, it's like then all of a sudden that rabbit starts coming through a little bit. You can see the eye and it almost makes it translucent. That's the word. It's kind of cool looking. So then you can see that bunny through it. That looks really neat. Oh. That's neat. Okay, now we're going to try the browns mixed with everything. First, we'll do brown and purple. There we go. Now a brown and a green. And brown and what, yellow? Okay. That's kind of fun. Make sure to get all of those white spots. Oh, I'm really painting my, my desk. Oh, look at that. Look 
how that showed through in the back, those little, all those lines. Well, I'm gonna leave that because that looks super cool. I would put that in a signature or make it a hinged page. That is super cool looking. Well, how neat. Cool, I like that book. That was a neat one. I don't think I used any from, is this from that book? No, it's bigger, it's bigger. Cute. Okay, we have, we have mushrooms. So we're gonna have to do that. It just gets addictive and then next thing you know, we've been eating a lot of, a lot of mushrooms lately. We've got some kits in our house that, um, pink oysters and I don't know what the other ones are, but anyway, they're, then you just fry them up and they're pretty good. I guess they, they can't really sell them in the store because they had such a short, um, short, um, I don't know, they go bad really fast and they wouldn't be able to like travel and distribute them. So they're not something you're gonna see in the store. I thought that was kind of interesting. Now those are neat colors. I wanna add like a little turquoise to it. but really light. There we go. Get a little more in there. And you've got all those fun colors. Lovely. Let's do some more to this side. Yeah, that purple turned out neat. Try a little brownish purple. Now I'm just getting to the end of stopping point, so I'm using up all my colors. There we go. About this side and that side and then when it dries you know it, it, it'll look a little bit different when it dries here's this one that we did I really like this one with the pens on it I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy using that one and we got ones that are still really really wet this one almost needs another color or maybe it's fine I don't know I'll leave it alone sometimes I add too much too much. That's, that'll be fun to use. And then the ones I did the other day, I'll give you a little show on those. So I did these. And then the other side looks kind of like that. Here's one that I did. Here's that side. I just did the one side on them. Here's some lighter colored ones where I was kind of playing around with the coloring the individual flower and of course this one well i think there's one one more yeah this one that one looks cute too so you know give it a try play around with it they're really fun and it's some nice signatures because like this one you can put that right in a book and it looks lovely it just is lovely so I hope you give it a try. It's a really, it's really fun, inexpensive project. I a lot of times find the uh, the coloring books at rummage sales and uh, thrift stores and stuff for a buck or something. I mean, they you know, they're pretty expensive at the store, or maybe you already have some. It seems like we all have a couple of them hanging around. I have a big collection that because I planned on doing this someday and guess what now is someday so I'm actually using them up and they go really fast I mean this is there's a, a bunch of them so all right well I hope you give this a try a little bit of uh, a mixed media Monday I guess is what I did 
And then you just pop that guy right in there and away you go. Make sure, make sure you don't put it in a bag or something like I did and it all dripped out because I didn't dry it out. I should just get a little rag and dry it out. Oh, Josie the dog is quite uh, quite uh, enthusiastic about the barking today. She's She gets a little barky sometimes. I don't know. She doesn't like it when, she, when my husband, I'm drinking tea, uh, when my husband goes places. <laughs> She wants to either go with, which she can't, because she's not very social. She's not very, she's kind of naughty. She either tries to eat other animals or she tries to bite humans. So we have to keep a close eye on her. And don't forget to keep your, your, your fun <laughs> cracks. This one might not be that good. It looks like I had a bloody nose. Oh, gross. Don't talk about that. Oh. I'm sorry, it just came right out of my mouth. All right, well, give this a try. It's super fun, and we've got these little fussy cut birds and butterflies, and oh, and and the bookmarks turned out. This is my favorite. This is cute. That's adorable. It's adorable. Okay. All right. Well, as always, thanks for coming along, and I'll talk to you later.